Bissau of Burgers Bagel Bakery. One of the biggest hits in the food industry today is bagel business. Since there has been a shift to a healthy living way, that's why the producing bagels has, be, has been more popular to consumers because it is relatively low in fat but rich in filling, which, it, which makes it taste good. It, has also it also attracted some businessmen as the first shop to, to invest in because it requires a small amount of capital to make but it can solve a higher price, thus returning a, vi a very favorable prof profit. It ranked as the number one in the national area with currently 450 shops spread across the state and it generates around $800,000 a year. Today, I have invited my five managers to provide some insights and from the five questions I have assigned to them. My first question for you, Hana, is Burgers maintain relatively little inventory either its plants or its retail stores. What benefit and risk in regarding with this policy? Thank you, sir. The company has a smaller minimal inventory in both plants and stores. The company wanted to have the degree of freshness to the final product at the stores. I have here five benefits and five risks that I have identified. So let's talk about the benefits first. The first one is the fresh products can be delivered to the customers. Next is it minimizes the storage facility. Third one is it also minimizes the waste. The fourth one is it is easier for the organization for resources. Fifth, it also reduces the holding cost and the ordering cost. So for the risk, the first one is it can satisfy higher demand. Next, the prices of the raw materials will fluctuate. The third one is the supplier of the raw materials will not be able to give the needed materials in a short notice. Fourth is it also increases the consumption cost. And the last one is the storage of raw materials will interrupt any production. Second, for Realin. Quality is very important in burgers. How do customers judge the quality of the vehicle? Next. What point, what point in the production process do workers check the bagel quality? And lastly, what are the steps in the production process beginning with the purchasing ingredients and ending in the sale and state how quality can possibly, possibly, positively affect each step? The features of bagels that customers look at to charge on their quality are Appearance, how the products attract the customer by its look Taste, the feedback of the customers regarding on how they savor the bagel bread. Consistency, how the bakery consistent with their high quality product and overall success of a business. Service, how the employer entertains and serves the order that leads the customer's satisfaction. Freshness, that product should be cooked on time with no molds. The points in the production process beginning with bagel quality are watch the different bagels and remove them. Observe if the machines are working properly. Select the best suppliers for the ingredients. The steps of the production process. First, time duration of each ingredient. Ingredients should expose before the expiration date. Second, ingredients are mixed together. Proper measurement of ingredients. Third, dough being transferred to machine. Monitoring that deformed beagles choose the updated machines. Fourth, heating process of bagels. Temperature should be maintained and monitored. Prevent overusing or cooking. Fifth, stored temporarily. Do proper storing and handling. Check and clean the utensils after using. Sixth, bagels are packed and transferred to store. Brand name and packaging must be attractive to the customers. Everything must be well organized and safe. For Aisha, which inventory models could be used in ordering the ingredients for bagel? Which do you think would be the most appropriate for deciding how many bagels to make in a given batch? In ordering the ingredients for bagels, it is appropriate to use the economic order quantity. The EOQ is one way to identify how much is the optimal amount of outputs to be produced while minimizing its cost. By this, when EOQ is achieved and applied inside the bakery, the owner can now identify how much is the raw materials to be purchased in order to allocate it for making 
vehicles. This model will actually assess a better approximate when they need to recharge their stock and the amount of ingredients they need to arrange. Moreover, when deciding how many vehicles to be made in a given batch, the most appropriate model would be the reorder point. The reorder point is commonly used by some business to ensure that their inventory will not be empty. In the case of Rogers Bagels Bakery, they should not let their stocks exceed their actual demand. Of course, every business must remember this too to avoid spoilage and costly expenditure. Additionally, they belong to the food industry, and one of their top priority is to maintain the freshness of the product and the consistency of the taste. And to help them ensure that they can provide a newly baked bagels, a proper application of reorder point must be done to have a better run in the production. And lastly, for Christine, Progress has been has a bagel making machines at each store. What advantage do each alternative have? There are a lot of advantages to acknowledge either acquiring machines in plants or in stores. If I'm going to mention one of the advantages of having bagel making machines in plant, then that would be the quality, shape, and size that can be easily maintained by the company. Not to mention that they can utilize the manpower involved in the production. However, um, considering to have bagel making machines in stores is that the company can easily handle the wasted or damaged bagels. No deliveries to be received from the plant anymore since the equipment is already in the store, which makes it more convenient and time saving. And Proper inventory management is also concluded or can also be considered as one of the advantages of having um, these machines as a part of the stores. And lastly, my tips to those small business entrepreneurs out there. Never start a business just to make money, but rather start a business to make a difference. And that would be all. Thank you.